Hello friends, welcome to the Cold War Prepper. My name is Lee. This is attempt number five to film 30 plus uh, fantastic Christmas gifts you might want to consider for your loved one. So uh, everything's kind of in disarray because I've already shown four times, of course, didn't re record. Don't know what's wrong. I, I wish I could find out why a photo booth is not working for me as far as recording videos. Uh, the first three fiction books, just fantastic series. Stonemont series by Stephen C. Smith. The uh, Going Home series by A. American, and of course the Cadillac, the, the original series, the trilogy by Bill Forston, and that's going to be the uh, a One Second After series. Just any one of those three, great stocking stuff, or a great primary book. Uh, you're going to find them anywhere from twelve fifty all the way up to twenty five dollars. You can find box sets. I know there's a box set of the trilogy uh, by Bill Forston. I think there's a box set of the first 10 books out of 12 of the Going Home series. I also know that you can get on Integrative Preparedness, and that's a YouTube channel. Uh, and in his About Me, or, or down below, he has instructions on how you can get autographed copies of all of his books. So, you know, any one of those three is a fantastic set. Number four, a subscription to, or, or a, a, a membership to TACTA. Uh, the American Civil Defense Association, so that's T-A-C-D-A dot org. And then once you're a member, uh, get a subscription. That's what's going to cost you is this, the uh, subscription to the, the uh, uh, Journal of American Civil Defense. And that comes out quarterly, every three months. Fantastic, great scientific information, not speculation, but actual good information. Uh, number five is a book that's out of out of print. I got it in 2009. Uh, if you can find it, get it. Uh, I'm going to actually recommend two books here, so I'll throw off my numbering system because there's another one I got to throw in here as well. Uh, and it's Making the Best of, uh, of, of the Basics uh, for Family Preparation Handbook. And uh, it was put out in 2009. Just a great book. I think it's out of print. I'll try to find it and, and put a link for that. The other one I recommend I got back in 1970-ish. Uh, and it's uh, the handbook for nuclear survival, nuclear survival handbook. That's also another great book. It's great to have. I'll add that, but it's going to screw up my, my numbering system, so I'm not going to number it. Um, number six and seven, U.S. Army wool blanket, U.S. Army uh, poncho liner. Both of those would make great gifts. Number eight is the Condor Bush Lore. So let me show you. Here's the Condor Bush Lore. It's about 60 bucks. It's my go-to knife here for handyman stuff around the house. Uh, it's a Scandi grind, just a fantastic. I think this is A2 tool, tool uh, steel. This is a $250 LT Wright Genesis in Scandi grind. Um, I think it's 1094 steel. I'm not 100% sure. I'd have to look that up. Take a look at the two of them. Pretty much the exact same uh, profile. The, the LT Wright is a better steel, far better steel. Uh, both of them are high carbon steels. Take a look at the handles. The LT Wright has a bush, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, a broom handle. This one's a little bit more contoured. Now, the problem with contoured knives is if your hand doesn't fit it right, you're going to get um, uh, burns or, or, you know, you're going to get blisters fairly easily. $60. Uh, put the link down below. And I'm also going to recommend one of their tomahawks. And it comes with the leather sheath. Uh, $250 if you can afford it. In my opinion, best knife on the market. Get it, uh, LT Wright Genesis. Mm -hmm. um, I don't have a discount code for either one. I don't know why. I guess I need to become a, a knife reviewer, knife distributor, knife 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 representer, uh, talker, whatever. Reviewer. There we go. Uh, next is going to be the Vestas. I'm going to talk about two different ways of heating. So 11 and 12 is going to be heating things heat, in case we have another snowmageddon here in Central Texas. Or up in the northeast, you have another six feet of snow. Uh, number so, so number 11, I believe it is. No, number 10, number 9. It's going to be the Vesta uh, space heater. You put in you up to three uh, safe heat canisters. Don't use Sterno. Sterno is not safe for indoor use. Use the safe heat. You put in three. The first one is going to basically produce enough heat where it's going to power the, the, the generator. It's a, it's a, it exchanges heat into electricity, so it has a fan and it blows the heat into the room you're trying to heat. The other two provide the heat that it's going to be blowing. Uh, on the other hand, you can get a Sterno stove and get the safe heat. Don't use Sterno, use the safe heat. 
put it in the Cerno stove, put it either inside your oven or on your oven door, and you can heat your kitchen that way. You're not going to have the blowing cape effect, but you will be able to heat a small area. Beware, that's also going to have an exposed flame, so not recommended unless you put it inside the oven if you have small children around. Think of safety all the time. Uh, number 11, just because I want one, a candle making kit. Uh, number 12, emergency candles. I strongly recommend these 115 hour liquid paraffin uh, emergency candles. We probably have a dozen of these that I've purchased over the last couple of years. Uh, just base, you know, good thing to have. Uh, continuing on, um, number 13 is the Condor Bush, uh, Bushcraft Tomahawk. <clears throat> it, to me, it looks like a copy of the CRKT Chogan, which I have. Difference is the uh, um, Condor has a hammerhead on the back, Chogan does not. <clears throat> and the cheek, the cutting surface on the, uh, uh, con uh, the, the, the Condor uh, is a little bit bigger, the bite, a little bit bigger cutting area than the CRKT. Now then, <clears throat> Condor, $70. CRKT, I believe is $120 or $130. Okay, number 14 is another set of books. Uh, anything you can find by Fernando Furfal Aguirre. Uh, he, he wrote a lot of books around surviving the 2001 economic collapse in Argentina. Uh, number 15, the Uco Candelier. We have two of these. Uh, the other one is slightly used. This one I have um, paraffin candles in. I'll show you a uh, uh, beeswax candle here in a little bit. We have two of these. This gets hot enough to where the surface, the top surface, which is a platter, uh, can be used to heat a pot of water for um, uh, instant soup or it can even warm up a, a can of soup. Uh, coffee, hot chocolate, whatever. They also have the single burner. Uh, here's the single burner. And this one I do have, if you can see it, a little bit more yellowish color. That's a beeswax candle. Uh, so the beeswax burns for 12 hours, the paraffin burns for 9 hours. Uh, number 16, a Zippo lighter. I can't find mine. Gosh, I got four laying around here somewhere. So here's a Zippo lighter kit. Fantastic um, gift. That's what I'll have a link to down below. Uh, it's windproof. That can of, of, of uh, Zippo lighter fluid will probably last you a full year. Uh, <clears throat> number 17, a luggable loo. A potty system in case the uh, sewer system goes down. Number 18, a Sam splint. <clears throat> this is the double Sam splint. Fantastic. You can mold it to any bone uh, that's an appendage in case they're broken, along with the Corflex uh, tape uh, to wrap that around and keep it stable and mobilized until, you know, it, you can get to a physician. Uh, along first aid, continuing is the four-inch Israeli bandage system. So you've got a pressure uh, uh, mechanism on it to apply pressure to the wound. You've got the dressing and you've got the bandage all in one. So it's just a phenomenal piece of equipment. <clears throat> I think that would be a fantastic Christmas present. Number 20, <clears throat> good stocking stuffers. Uh, and I just finished rereading Animal Farm by George Orwell. <clears throat> Gosh, the pigs who take over the farm, basically. Uh, so they kick Snowball out. <clears throat> but Napoleon and the other pigs, pigs take over. You know, you have such great lines like our government right now. Uh, uh, all men are equal, just some are more equal than others. And so the pigs, of course, are more equal than the others. Uh, there are rules for thee, but not for me. We see that going on. If you can read these books that were written back right after World War II, 80 years old, and how well they predict what we have in our government right now, unbelievable. It'll put nightmares in you. You'll have to find a good sleeping pill. Um... The next one um, is uh, Sawyer's uh, Mini Water Purification System, uh, Emergency Seeds, so I like Emergency Seed Vault, so these, that would be a great Christmas present, 20, 30 bucks. Uh, NREs uh, from Nutrient Survival, uh, so this is a daily equivalent like an MRE, except this is Nutrient Enhanced. Uh, so you got coffee, you've got vitamin, uh, everything you need for one day. Let me give you a secret in the code below because I am an I am an affiliate. So if you use the code below, the link below, put in two NREs. Okay, I, I like the A and the C. So I'll put in NREA. I'll put in NREC. 
Then at checkout, I use the code FREE-NRE. You get one of those for free. So you get basically get one, buy one, get one free. Can't beat that. Uh, and that's a great stocking stuffer as well. Or even at $37.50 plus $10 shipping, $47.50, that'd be a great primary uh, Christmas present. Um, well, let me see. Number 24, a Swiss Army knife. This is the one that I had in Boy Scouts back in the 50s and 60s. Um, I'll have that down below. Number 25 is the Wolf Tactical Holster, Molly Holster. I have two. I have the Desert Tan uh, that's on my uh, get home bag. And I have a side draw so that I can just reach up and pull it out. Uh, the other one is going to be a standard holster for my pistol uh, belt from the military. And that's, you know, the Molly Webbing, of course, you can put it on there fairly easily. Uh, and that's a standard draw, but that's a black holster. So they have, they have Desert Tan, they have black, I think they have Woodman, I think they have ACU. Fantastic holster for under $30. Um, so, number 26, knife sharpening equipment, Smith Knife Sharpener. It's also got the little uh, thing here, so if you have the serrated edge, you can sharpen it, sharpen the serrated edge. Uh, I also recommend getting a leather strop, and this is the one I use. I'll put the link for this down below. <clears throat> I used to strop my knife, my pocket knife, every Sunday watching The Walking Dead. I guess my knife is going to now go uh, dull because there's not going to be any more Walking Deads. The last one was two weeks ago. Uh, number 27, 12-hour Zippo hand warmer. Number 28, a pistol magazine reloader. I use the Aplula. Uh, using this and loading my pistol magazines, I can do it in one-third the time of pushing it down with my thumb. Number 29, a, a uh, USB rechargeable arc lighter. So here it is. You flip this and the top comes open. Button here is for the arc light. And look at that. 3200 degrees. That will light uh, wet tinder, guaranteed. And it's USB rechargeable. Get as much USB to rechargeable stuff as you can, and this is going to throw my numbering system off as well. And get a good USB, uh, a good solar USB rechargeable system. Uh, so I'll put a link to this one down below too. <coughs> That's not. <coughs> <coughs> I don't have a number for that one. That's just going to be a freebie. Uh, SOG multi tool. Um, that's what I use. So that's the link I'm going to put down below. Leatherman has theirs. I, I know a lot of people swear by Leatherman. I can't afford Leatherman. Um, and this is a, a, an acceptable substitute and it has all the tools that I need. So this is the one I'm going to recommend to you because it's the one I have, the one I use. Uh, and then, of course, number 31 in my letter in my numbering system that I've messed up to all get out because I've added all kinds of other stuff in there is going to be this behind me, the Jace Medical System. Uh, that's four different sets of antibiotics. We have a critical shortage in one of the four antibiotics in this kit right now nationwide. And uh, so, you know, if you need it, you've got it in this kit because you don't have it right now at most pharmacies. Uh, the other thing I'm going to tell you about this is 80% uh, of most of our pharmaceuticals are made either in that country that's about ready to go to war with the island that they want to retake or in India. And if we get our non-speaking terms with either one, oops, there goes our medical supplies. Remember how personal protective equipment was at the beginning of uh, the lockdown. We couldn't find any, uh, you know, masks, hand sanitizers, everything else. Uh, those are, you know, that's going to be medical supplies are the first things to go during a lockdown, during a demic of any kind, during whatever, uh, even during a war because of who we deal with. So, um, you know, plan ahead. That's $250. That would be a fantastic Christmas present, main Christmas present, if you can afford it. So, remember, we're all in this together so we can come out the other side together. Please be kind, polite, and respectful to each other because togetherness is the key. And we're in the Advent series, so I get to add Merry Christmas. Take care.